Welcome, welcome. Rosemary, it's just uh, it's me and you today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. That's awesome. I love what you've done so far. Really, really starting to uh, look a lot better. How do you like it? Yeah, I'm really pleased. I think it, it does look a lot better. There's still a few things. Pull it back up. Yeah. Still a couple of things I'm not sure on, but generally I'm I'm starting to think it does look a lot better. Yeah, I like it. I like uh, you know, it's starting. It's starting. It's just got a look and feel that's a little bit. It, it was professional before, but it's it's you know my colors are the colors are matching. The um, the padding is looking much better. I don't know if you heard us when we were talking about it earlier, um, but it's just it's really coming together. I like it. You found a new image. <laughs> yes, one without something in the way. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, what, what are you struggling with now? Um, just things like, um, you know, the advertising. I've got right down at the bottom of the page. Should that be up further or is that okay there where it is? Um, it's not bad. Are you getting uh, a decent amount of businesses that are that are listing? Or are they finding this at all? Are you getting the traffic first? Um, it depends on how you're doing. You know. Yeah. Um. No, we're not getting businesses. Well, we've got one so far, an insurance company, which looks pretty promising. Um. Yeah. But I, I think I need to do a lot more outreach. Yeah, let them know what it's about, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, let me just take a take a real quick look and make it every find a new adventure. When I get to the page, you know, you, you've got to let the user know what what you want. You know, what what you yeah. want, what they want, um, and what your site's about. I think you, uh -huh. you kind of achieve that, right? So I'm I'm okay with that, and everything is kind of again, it's looking much better. Um, you might want this a little bit higher. I know you have just like it says ad listing up here and and you know I know what it is because I've seen it a million times now, but um, mm. yeah, maybe maybe something a little bit more prominent um, mm. you know up here and it doesn't have to be this complete section, right? This could be your full no, section, I but um, an example, let me, let me I don't want to pull up anybody's and I don't think it's on the demo. Um, but an example is, you know, when I'm doing these, I think I go like one or two spaces down and I do like a full yep. width, um, you know, a full width, like in this case, a blue background. And then I put my text in white, maybe my, my yep. button will like pulse. So they know it's here, but usually, uh, and again, I don't think there's a wrong or right, right way, but maybe try, you know, just a call to action right here in the center, um, yep. a little bit more towards the top. Um, that could definitely help. I don't, I can pull up my own site. So this is directory wise. Again, if I'm looking at, you know, this, you'll, you'll notice like the same okay. exact concept. Um, I want you to know that, yes, you can submit a riding location, you know, and then down here, well, I, I want you to know you can submit a school. I didn't want to get too crazy with it, but I do have two different types of uh, things that they can submit. So uh, this is just, you know, exactly what I said. Something right in your face, you can submit this. Yeah, but it, it's good in that it doesn't take up too much space. Yeah, that's, yeah, I, I agree. You know, if you're going to do the yeah. full section at the bottom still, that's great. It offers a lot yeah. more information. But, yeah. uh, you know, just a real quick blurb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. What, what, I didn't mean to uh, shut that down. What else? Um, What else are you working on? What else? Uh... On this side? Yeah, I mean, so you're working on, I mean, we've got the call to action, a little bit more yeah. advertising. Um, I'm sure you're hitting up the Facebook group or at least that one group that we talked about last week, but what else? Um, yeah. I mean, are, are you doing anything with the SEO? Um, just going through and, and checking all articles and things like that. Um, okay. 
Love it. Just starting to bring that stuff in there. I know we were talking about rank math and Yoast um, last week. Did you? Did you? Are you? Are you currently using one of those? I forget. I know I was back there. And, and yeah, Yoast. I use Yoast. Awesome. Pretty, pretty easy to use. I, love yeah. it. I don't know why I, I close one too many. I'm also using um, Surfer for SEO. Um, oh, I know you. I know you were mentioning that, right? And it worked yeah. or integrated with. With Jarvis is what we were saying that it was integrating. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm not using anything like this. And my AI, uh, I'm using an AI bot, but and I'm only picked it up recently from like one of our webinars. Somebody was talking really highly of it, and mm -hmm. um, I, I use the free version. And it's Quillbot, <laughs> so I just throw in you know 700 words and it kicks back some. So it's not automatic writing but it's just like changing up some words and, and things like that okay this, i know we were looking at this last time i didn't look bad at all they're updating these ai tools all the time you know really uh, quite rapidly they're growing in what they can do and the output is getting better and better does that scare you? No, not at all. All right. All right. Soon it's going to take over the internet. I think I've seen way too many of those movies where the AI and, um, you know, <laughs> I, I, I was hesitant because not about taking over the world or anything, but more so just because, you know, I'm, I'm old school. Like, I may not sound it, but I'm, I've been doing this for a while. Anytime you, you know, I'm just hesitant to try new things, which uh, I've tried. I try to kick back. Like I said, we're trying new SEO plugins. We're trying new, um, but you got to keep moving forward, right? And this is what I'm telling That's you. Right. I'm a techie and I move forward, but I just I'm I'm kind of like in my own bubble, like no yeah. AI for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, was, things just move yeah. so rapidly. Um, I was really excited to see it. You know. So, what else? What else? Um, what other tools are you using online? Um, just all the usual ones, I think. I mean, Surfer and Jarvis are the, the two latest that I've got into, but um, yeah, pretty much just the usual tools, Canva. Um, okay. Um, Canva, Canva's just, and so correct me if I'm wrong, like I, I've been in Canva a couple of times, but that's just for graphics, right? It's for all your graphics and putting things together. Yeah, predominantly. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I was just wondering, like, if it had any other scope tools that, um, you know, because I'm not familiar with it like that. I, I know that Rob said, hey, check out my Canva and grab these images. And I'm like, dude, I really don't want to learn this. I don't want to jump into your Canva. Can you just send me the images? He's like, dude, you got to do it. I paid you all this money. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> so, so I get in there and I, you know, I'm lost, um, of course. Um, but yeah, I just seen the basic sets. Like I know he has images and graphics. I'm, you know, obviously I'm using, well, not obviously, but I'm using Photoshop. And um, yep. I think I, I, again, just skill set and tool set that, that I'm just used to. So it was just, when I yeah, have to try something. Yeah, you get used to. Um, I use um, Photoshop as well, but Canva is probably easier to use and it's probably got more uh, possibilities as well. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, no, it's, it's really hot, useful. Hot, hot or 19 year isn't bad either. And that's for up to five people. What's that? Oh, so I was looking at their pro. It looks like 119 bucks a year. Are you using, did you upgrade or are you just using the free version? No, using pro. Okay. Yeah. So 119 bucks is what it's telling me. And uh, that's, yeah. that's definitely not a bad deal. Cause I think I pay that for Photoshop and you're saying it probably has a little bit more than. Yeah. I think it does. The... Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't think right, Photoshop... Tim, uh, I just want to let you know, I sent uh, an email to 500 people. Um, I mean, I, we, we have about a thousand, but I only sent to like nine last 90 days. Uh, people who signed up last 90 days ago yeah so let's see 
if anybody show up. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, did we um, review all the core pages for Rosemary? Maybe we can just check other pages as well, uh, if there is anything else. If we, we, I mean, you know, let's see. Um, I don't know, uh, some ideas. Yeah, sure. Uh, you want to give her some input? Um, I mentioned some things on the home page. Um, she's still kind of working um, little by little, a little bit of SEO. Yeah. We, we talked about it for a minute, just kind of see what Yeah, let's on. see the archive page, maybe like the archive and the details page. Um, yeah, let's go to the ar archive. Let's see if there's anything we talk about. Okay. Um, so looks good, looks good. Um, yeah, so that's something um, shouldn't be happening. I would suggest, try, yeah, she, the trunk, the truncate is not happening, so not sure why. But uh, I would suggest try different. Uh, we have few different styles. This mm -hmm. one, the the whole uh, layout is the classic one. The archive yeah. page layout that you're using is a classic one. I don't know if you tried the other layout or some really nice uh, layouts that we, uh, I guess it was in 2.5 2 that we released. So um, yeah, and then uh, there are different styles for the card views as well. So okay. yeah, try different because this is like, um, yeah, very, one of our first styles. And I feel uh, for me, it's like, you know, I've seen it so many times, it's kind of boring for me. So there are actually <laughs> much sexier uh, designs, if, if I may say. <laughs> Yeah, and the filter option, there's option, uh, there is a left, I don't know if that would be best in your case, but there is a filter that shows up on the left side, basically the left, what do you call the left uh, um, column filter or, um, yeah, instead of showing up on the top here. So, yeah, I mean, if uh, Tim, if you can pull up like, oh, okay. I mean, we can go to like, I don't know, Places Pro or Restaurant Pro, let's see, but you can definitely show show here. Yeah, that's, that's fine, what you're doing, that's fine. Sorry. Let's see, page. So we got so the one with the far column filters, not bad. And then again, she's already got the square. Right, let's just try it and see what's up. And refresh the page. Something like this one. You say you like the fil filters on the left better, Sam? Uh, yeah, that's what I was referring. So this is one, and the card view or the the uh, grid card view style is. I guess I like this one better. But yeah, you need to just play around with different styles and see which one suits you. Okay. Yeah. I end up what using I. Depend, depending on full map, like depending on the, the actual niche, like yours is a full map type deal, right? You've got all yeah. over the area uh, or you yeah. need to show. So I would definitely stick with, you know, one of these two options is just, you know, maybe break down your filters a little bit more and fill up that left column. That could definitely be cool. And then, you know, another favorite of mine, which I don't think applies to your niche, but anybody listening um, to the recording that you know, I do the smaller map and then there are some that just don't need a map or I'll use this one. Um, but the difference, obviously, you know, just based on what I wanted to see there and I could use the same card layout, so I like it. It just gives me a little bit of flexibility. I think you are the full map though, right? That's yes. a better idea. Yep, yeah. yep. Um, so maybe this one, I mean, even if we were to switch it up, but you have this one and these cards. Let's just take a look at this one. Uh, I'm not. I'm not changing your site. Um, oh, this isn't the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Same, same style, just a different, a newer layout for the card. Um, but again, okay. it looks like you'd be utilizing your logo or their logo, which I know not everybody turns that on. So. Okay. Um, it has a bit of a nicer look though, doesn't it? It does. I kind of like this filter one. I just don't like the one column. I guess. I guess we could fix that, but. Um, the one with the filters on the left, just because it's they're already opened up, and you can kind of oops, uh, see what they yeah. are, like like this. 
but then you're not using price range, are you? You're not, so you're gonna have just these and then. Yeah, there will be a lot of empty space if you don't have it set properly with all the additional um, field, custom fields and whatnot, so. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, so that's and uh, maybe uh, let's go to one of her pages and maybe we can see what's going on on her detail page. Yeah. Okay, this is a nicer layout, uh, so this is good. Yeah, Rosemary, I like the new logo. Looks. Oh, looks, thank you. Uh, yeah, looks good, doesn't a, it? Thousand times better. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess simple. Yeah, there are always like those simple changes you can make to website to your website to hmm. just make it look a lot better. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so pricing plan, like I, I said last time, there are some really nice designs you want to check out. Just um, then maybe if we can go to the page build, like um, to your website, to your the sandbox or wherever you were testing and show her some of the uh page. it's actually you have to go to the pricing plan page um it's I going to be it's a that. page builder element it's actually an elementor or wp bakery element that you need to um mess around with oh look at that okay. we have uh lenny joining lenny's has been has become a regular she was uh there last week she attended our uh, event launch event pro launch so thanks Lenny. i don't know if she can hear me <laughs> but yeah so awesome to see you again and we have uh, one more person Shaquilis. shaquille o'neal <laughs> what's going on guys Uh, I think everybody's on mute, so you guys feel free to unmute yourself. We're just doing a little bit of Q&A with um, Sam as well as the overnight coder. Um, so I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing it. What, what, what am I, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, yeah, just click on the page builder element, uh, page builder element. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, I normally see a lot more than that, though, and it's, I don't know what, oh, um, that, never mind. Vertical view, yeah, and then the vertical view one through four. Sorry about that. Having a moment. Yeah, I know. We need to maybe change the the text a little bit. Maybe this one is much cleaner. I guess. Yeah. If, if, if you want full view, I usually like the the style too with the balloons. I don't. I don't... I'm not sure the balloons. I don't know. I think it's just my. It never fits like what I want to do, right? So, like, <laughs> yeah, you got to change the balloon. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think that's the problem. I love it. Um, so yeah, definitely play around a little bit with the pricing plans. You know, I've actually seen some some really cool ideas. Matter of fact, pre lifestyles. I don't think they're. Uh, it wasn't up last time I checked, but he uh, he's pretty cool with showing his site. But what he had was, it was kind of like an intro, right? You you had um, what you're actually getting, and then he had the plans, and then he had additional information. And if you've even seen so much as, I mean, you can go to Listing Pro and use some of those images, like they have a picture of the dashboard, and they have a picture of the stats, and they have a picture of, you know, each individual feature, and just let people know, yeah. you know what, what, you know, you're, you're offering. Because um, some people might not know you can, you can track stats and do all this crazy stuff. Um, let me, let, yeah, he's not up. No, that's a shame. It was a really good looking website that you can kind of uh, see a detailed pricing plan in there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why he's not up. Yeah. Other than that. Lenny, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, oh, go ahead. I was just going to ask everyone else to just, uh, if they have any questions, please feel free to um, shoot. Yeah, we are here. Uh, Tim, especially Tim is here for us to ask all the technical questions. Questions and answers, shoot them out. Well, we got one in the chat box from Galiz. I'm probably torturing your name. Wait, that looks like it's direct to me. 
I cannot unmute uh, partially. <laughs> yeah, man, we'll record it. Thanks, thanks for showing up. <laughs> uh, you don't want to know, man. Um, I, he's just, yeah, kind of busy. So we, we appreciate you coming. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, you feel free to shoot them in the chat box or just speak out and, and let us know what you guys got. Shaquille, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Tim. I am right here, my friend. I'm doing okay. I am a bit late, so I, I'm still kind of lost as to where you guys are in this whole process today. That's all right. We're just uh, jamming out on some listing pro questions. Um, I had the opportunity to kind of work with um, the number two guy, the number one guy in my eyes, um, Sam, uh, who is here co-hosting with us. I think we're going to offer this weekly for all of our listing pro. Well, actually, I know we're going to offer it weekly for all our listing pro users just to try to do a you know virtual um, Q and A. So if you have any questions on listing pro or um, you know or directly in general or maybe just questions monetization, I know you're still waiting on the design. So uh, <laughs> um, so we'll see. I know I know that we're going to be making it a little bit better on that aspect, but so I'm kind yeah, of excited in the whole. Hello, Sam. Sam, your face looks very familiar. At least the picture does. <laughs> hey, man, I don't. Uh, that was when I was really young, man. That now it's that was like I don't know, like five, six year old picture. I don't really look like that much anymore. I lost my hair. You know, I don't know. I, I have grown beard, so it's it's a different Sam now. An older, maybe a little bit wiser Sam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah thanks for joining dude i mean guys this is i want to keep this like very like you guys can be very open if you have any criticism if you have any issue complaints i mean you know i want to i want to hear that out here in this session i don't want to sugarcoat anything you know if you if you feel there is something wrong with listening pro or you know feedback we are, we are i'm here to at least here and then Whatever I can do about it, I'll do. But if there's any technical questions, of course, Tim, Tim, Tim's going to answer because I'm, I'm not that technical. All right, awesome. So, what have you guys covered thus far? Uh, what types of questions, at least? Yeah, we we pretty much covered Rosemary's site. <laughs> In a hole. I mean, that's that's your simple <laughs> answer. Uh, she was with us okay. last week as well. So we were just kind of kind of giving her ideas and updates. So nothing specific. I uh, got you, got you. Do you have any questions? You've been running Listing Pro for a while now. You know, uh, any concerns for Sam? Any questions on, you know, anything there? Uh, I, I would kind of throw out, I wouldn't call it a random question, but something that just came to mind. So Sam, what is the the roadmap uh, for the company, you know, over the next, I would say 12 months, I know we see a lot of other solutions that's coming out now and a lot of other challenges, you know, uh, most likely Listing Pro is still the best thing, but you know, what, what's gonna happen, uh, what changes can be made over the next year or so? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. So yeah, we, as you have already, you might have already seen, we are going to launch Event Pro this coming week. So that's a big launch for Event Pro. But um, if if you are referring to Listing Pro itself, like what are the improvements and uh, changes that we are planning? Some of the big ones I'll, I can um, think of is WP. I mean WPML compatibility is on the roadmap. Uh, we are working with those guys, so hopefully you will see that coming soon. Uh, so that's one. Other than that, we are looking on optimizing the product as a whole, because obviously that was one of the concerns that we get, like always, that, you know, there might be some issues with the performance. And of course, I mean, you know, there are certain things that we can obviously or always improve uh, the product of to optimize um, and and you know uh, improve the overall performance and uh, but but there's obviously there's going to be certain things that we won't be able to do that will be only 
uh, handled by a server that you pick or you know how, how many plugins you are running in addition to what we offer with listening pro so that all those are multiple variables when it comes to of course optimization speed but definitely something um we want to improve as much as possible from our end whether it's just the code uh, the, uh or um you know the images that we are using in the product sometimes a lot of the dummy content that gets imported when you install the theme um i guess uh, cause some problems, I guess, with the op, uh, how, how your websites are loading. So that's something we, we are trying to address. So other than that, I would say we will be improving the, we, we launched the mobile version for Android. So um, we also have the iOS uh, on the roadmap. It's it's pretty much, I would say, in, in its uh, early development phase. Um, and we will definitely um, in the coming months will launch the iOS. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, if you have any specific uh, like feedback for any specific feature that you've been waiting for, just you know, yeah, let that let me know, and you know, I'll uh, I'll think about it and let you know if it's already on our roadmap or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. Thanks. Thanks uh, for the answer. I think it was really You're descriptive. Uh, I don't know if you guys, you know, have a mailing list or how exactly. I mean, I'm in the Facebook group, but to be honest with you, I'm, I don't check it all of the time. But I don't know exactly like how you would have communicated in the past with persons who would have bought the theme. But, you know, I can suggest maybe, um, you know, mailing lists with updates, you know, maybe uh, a weekly site feature, you know, something like that, just to let us know, you know, you're there, you're working, you know, you're still trying to improve the theme, you got this on top, etc. And I think things like that just makes the users feel a bit more comfortable. And um, just always looking forward to what it is that you have to improve or what it is that you have to offer next. And that would just be my humble suggestion. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks. Uh... That, that that makes sense yeah and um we already started experimenting that with one of our premium add-ons like medical pro and it's going to be in uh event pro as well there's like a built-in um tool that we integrated with with those premium add-ons uh, we are just testing out with those and if it if we see some positive result we'll definitely uh, add that to listening pro where in the admin dashboard there is this panel that opens up on the sidebar on the right hand side that lets you know about any recent updates. And I mean, I mean you probably have seen that in a lot of these new SaaS tools and you know that lets you know what's going on, if there was an update, or if there was a new feature or whatever. Like, you know, so we already did that with Medical Pro and Event Pro. So hopefully in the coming months we'll we'll slowly start integrating that with listing pro as well yeah so let me let me ask you guys if you know you know there's at some point there's going to be 3.0 listing pro 3.0 what would because we already have so many like you know there are so many features now uh with like even um with these premium add-ons like you know uh, medical pro and event pro what would the one feature like you know everyone can say that out uh, like you know pick one feature and let me know like what would be that one feature you would like to see in 3.0 the, the biggest core core feature that could benefit everyone yeah i mean that would that would actually be great to hear You can type in in the comments as well later on if you don't don't if you don't know right now or you can think of one you can just drop it in the comments later. We we still have like about an hour. Right? It's it's a really good question. I just I think you caught me off guard um, because I I I know of some things that I would like to see, but I you know the biggest one I don't I don't know you know I'm just beginning, so I don't have anything to add yet. <laughs> so you, you got you got a while to go. A bunch of features to still test out. Uh, that was from the chat box. 
Um, I mean, you guys covered core features, you know, I, I, you know, and I know you just said this as well, but just tightening it up as a whole, um, you know, I am, I'm getting a lot of people asking me about marketplace, you know, can people add their own products on their listing? Um, something like that already integrated in the payment processes that you have now would be cool. What's another okay. one? Okay. Okay. That's Ads. a good one. That's a good one. Ads by near me. I think it, I think it eliminates a, a solution or a the restriction of um, like in Shaquille's um, in in his website. He's in a in, in like an island life area, right? Without giving away too much too much detail. And in that place, I feel like not everybody has a website, you know. And and there's people like I know that I've taken some cruises to this place and. Um, there's street vendors and there's like the straw market and there's places like this where I think really for, you know, $9 or $19 a month or whatever his pricing plan may be, you can actually have a market, you know, to, to, to sell as well. But I think that, I mean, but you guys have already done it because medical pro gets into, you know, paying the user out, but I think something like that could definitely utilize. And, and you see it all the time in the Facebook groups, you know, can I do this? Can I do that? Yeah, I would I would definitely uh, wholeheartedly agree with that, you know. And, and Tim and I have been talking about a solution. I guess that can work with that. So I would definitely say that adding that on to Listen Pro can be a game changer, particularly for persons in position like myself, you know, where they may live in a, a small town, a small island village, or you know, a place where you have a lot of locals who's not online is yet you know because uh, for the most part i know you guys live in america and you know uh, bigger cities at least i would assume so so these things you don't think about because it's it's first nature to you you know every, mostly you know persons are online you can find everything on google etc cetera, etc cetera. here in the bahamas where i live you know uh tim didn't mention that but i live in the bahamas we don't have the same thing you know it's a constant struggle to find things and numbers and and small businesses and services etc cetera, etc cetera. and everything is almost by referrals and recommendations so to have um something like that or to have that add-on and, and that feature you know it really empowers those uh specific set of users mm -hmm. nice. okay okay all right. Um, thanks, uh, Sam. Uh, uh, so, uh, Tim, what about the? I, I hear this a lot about affiliate. Um, you know, do do we support affiliates? Like, how do you, if if we were to think in that direction of creating some sort of affiliate feature, how does that look like? I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm not too too much. I haven't done a lot of affiliate stuff, but. Are you talking about for the sales? I think I think we were also talking. It's funny because Shaquille had brought this up to me as well. Um, but it's it, it's definitely doable. I mean, we found a way where you can take um, a query and an URL. So let's say you know you recommend somebody and you use you know um, the question mark equals um, you know Tim for example, and we actually preset a field that was in the uh, in Listing Pro to show on the back end. So you can kind of keep track. And I know this this didn't take long at all. This is like an hour job. So um, you guys could definitely incorporate something like that because it, it's gonna help users promote sales, which, you know, so if you can have five or six or, or 20 different affiliates running around in, in the Bahamas case, um, you know, we'd have one of those kids running around recommending businesses and, and get, you know, get paid for doing so, um, which could, I think really, not relieve the stress off the owner or the business owner, but I think that, you know, it could be used as a whole because still the business owner should be doing other methods, but I think it helps uh, kind of spread affiliate affiliates just, just work, man, you know, whether it's hosting, whether it's um, products. So add it, man, you're going to get on that today. I know it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, great. We have a few more people join. I, I would say if everybody, um, you know, uh, can if, if you're okay like drop their website url in the comments and you know we can 
if you if you are open to share with everyone because this is being recorded and this this might end up on YouTube. So if you are comfortable with sharing your website with the world, then please feel free to drop. What we will do is we can if, if there are no questions, Tim and I will open your website and start. Uh, giving some constructive criticism. We did that to Rosemary. She's still, yeah, she's still here last week and she was able to make uh, quite a bit of improvement, like minor improvements to the site. So it really helps, uh, you know, and uh, I mean, you know, everybody on the call can give feedback. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Shaquille's posted his website. Let's uh, pull it up. Let me see what I got here. Uh, by the way, you guys are on mute for the early joiners. Make sure you just click that unmute button if you want to chime in. So uh, Sam, you want to give him some critiques? Uh, <laughs> so I I I, uh, I I help build this. Um, so oh, wow, I think, nice. I, I don't want to give him Pretty. any critiques. I, I didn't add the video, and I'm sure he's made some some other small changes. Actually. No, I definitely didn't have the video. I think um, you're in the process of doing something, but um, right. yeah, I like it. I like it, you know. No, it's, but, it's great. Um, I would just uh, suggest there are a few different icon options or the those uh, search, search, the icons that you have or what do you call those boxes, actually a few different new styles that we have in theme for and in, in our theme option settings. So try different styles. I mean, this is, because the thing is, this is so common now because uh, it's part of the classic design. So like everybody, <laughs> you know, been using that for first two years, we didn't have a lot of options. First year or so, we didn't have any options. So, I mean, you know, I kind of got bored of watching those same, looking at those same styles. So I tried some different um, styles there. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, everything seems pretty neat here. Sam's gonna rip me oh. apart. <laughs> He's just gonna tell you all about my design work. Uh, this is a bad. I, it, it's a good site. Don't get me wrong, but I think um, yeah. Shaquille's working working on a better version of this, and um, you know it's really coming together. So I think that that was. When did we build this? This was this was like back in the day. Right? Last I feel like last year. Um, next month would make one year exactly. Uh, yeah. All right. Now sense. some changes have been made over the year. You know, it, it didn't start like this. Some changes have been made. No, it's definitely. Don't get me wrong. This is very clean to the point. Nothing like you know. Uh, I can. It's really hard for me to criticize this one. But I mean, you know, there's a featured listing missing, so that that was off. You might want to add something. Uh, okay, I like that. I'm glad you're using a different style, the minimal minimalistic approach. Yeah. I like this one, the minimalistic uh, approach. So yeah, that was, I haven't seen a lot of people using that. So, um, and I, I, that's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> so yeah, cause it's, it, it keeps it, uh, uses less space and yeah, it's really nice. It's nice. Um, what else going on here? What, show me the pricing plan. Let's see what you got on the pricing plan, please. I think there was oh. too many. Okay, that's good. That that's oh boy, no, <laughs> that's a, I mean, that a lot of options. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure you have a good reason for that. Let's see. Um, wow, we got nice, nice, nice. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, you even have uh, you guys know that there's an option for exclusive and uh, standard plans. So I don't know or whatever monthly or annual plan. So you can always experiment with those options as well. I mean, you know, there's so much you can do with pricing plans, man. Uh, I mean, you can probably think of some sort of A-B testing as well. Maybe like, I don't know how you're gonna do that, but uh, yeah, something. Um, yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. Top, this top is Google. Nice. Top Google has a good pricing plan, uh, by the way, if you guys uh, ever want to get some. I, I think last time I checked, he had some decent page going on over there. Maybe he changed it. Yeah, so right there. And then he has some FAQs. Yeah. Okay. So there are a few. I, I like that, you know, the top selection thing going on FAQs. Yeah, so I mean, 
few different options. I don't know. He he's got too many things when you land on his pace, things popping up, things on the sidebars. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, it definitely it definitely gives a unique look though. So I like it. I like it. So uh, back to easy finds. What what? Um, so yeah, definitely. I mean, there are definitely things that you know. As I'm looking at it, that I would definitely change today. You know, versus um, when you had the idea for this. But again, I, I think with the new site, you'll be in a, in a much better spot. I don't I don't think Sam's gonna let me show the new site, but do <laughs> uh, we see ad enlisting? What new site? Uh, Shaquille's new site coming up. Oh, okay. we'll show you. All right, can I can I do that, Shaquille? We'll just, how about just the homepage? Yeah, yeah, you you can you can, and I think that's why you know my uh, current site hasn't have much improvements yet because every uh, hope and idea has been going to the new one. So yeah, we definitely we can. I don't have an issue with it. So, I mean, just, just to redeem myself because the year old work um, compared to the new style, this is kind of what he's working with. So much refined adder. Um, I'm, I'm gonna refresh the page. We, we didn't go with the icons. I like to do this with Listing Pro as well. I'll remove the icons and do like three or four boxes in Elementor halfway down the page and then just move them up. And I mean, I've got that on a lot of, uh, if you guys have seen the Overnight Coder uh, Facebook page, you'll see this style over and over again, just because I'm, I'm really comfortable with it. I like it. A little bit of movement. Uh, I, like, I like that, I like that. We've got some custom pages. We decided to take it to the travel area as well as for the locals. Um, same, just some updates on the premium cards. Um, Rosemary is going to be familiar with this because we've talked about this twice now, the call to action for submitting a business right near the top. And then a little placeholder for SEO. He's got his video here. And then um, these are actually just categories. So in Elementor, we just we created one, two, three, four, five little spots for categories. The title and text was down below it. And we just, you know, with a little bit of CSS, we we're able to move it up. And then, of course, it's got some different things going on with events. Dude, is this uh, Elementor Pro? What are you using? Because I really like the way you did Rounded Corner on YouTube video. I, I, I don't think I have I was able to do that with my video. So how are you doing that Rounded uh, Corner? That's, that, that, that's, that's Elementor Pro. You know, Elementor Pro comes with, um, matter of fact, I'll put it in the column. And then as soon as we are in the column, I just set that column to the border radius. And it just, like, I'm not even in the video doing the border Very radius. Neat. It's just that whole section. Very neat. Um, but it's got, it's got an updated look, right? And to rip the footer out and kind of kind of play around with it. And again, I think when he's done, um, he's got a lot of additionals here. So uh, I won't get it too far. I said the homepage. Just, but all this is Elementor Pro, you know, just utilizing the tools that you guys have. That's fine. This is just a teaser. That's fine. We'll, we'll wait for the full full movie. Well, we, we got like uh, over 10 or we had like 11 people just I guess now 10. But so just uh, I guess you want to give a shout out to everyone and let them know that they can unmute or I can do that. Hey, guys, like you can unmute and ask questions. We are just doing quick Q&A. If you have a website that you already created, you can drop it in the comments. And you know we'll we'll pull it up and give you some feedback. Or if you have any questions, just Tim is here for you. I mean, you know this is like a really. Uh, I mean, you know you should you guys all should use this time and ask any questions you have about listing pro. I got one in the chat. Could we see ad listing? I mean, I think we looked at ad listing, but I think the next ones. If you have any active, wait. I do quick tips when adding a new listing. If you're asking if I have any tips um, for adding a new listing, I, I, there, there's two different methods, right? You got people that want to add them manually. And I don't think there's a, a wrong or right answer, just depending on how your niche is. So when I first started my kiteboarding directory, um, I was adding them manually. And when I was adding them manually, I would also, and I'm just adding basic information because I feel like I don't want to, I don't want to put the whole information on there. I want them to claim and grab it. But to start my site, I started putting them in manually and I even put in their Facebook. I know I said basic information, but the reason I put in Facebook 
is because I would go straight to their Facebook page when I was done adding that listing. I'd be like, hey, it looks like you guys are featured on, you know, guideboarding for you. Um, and I would keep two to three sentences long and uh, I'd post the link right where they could just go to it. And, you know, a lot of times they, they might not have checked the link, but some of the times they did. And, um, you know, I was able to start getting my first couple sales that way. Um, so maybe that'll help, you know, and, and wait, am I on mute? No, <laughs> um, make sure to take your mute. Um, so yeah, you know, that's, that's just a quick tip there. I will tell you that if you're worried about the SEO and the stuff on your site, like, you know, it's so easy just, and this is what business owners do. It's sad to see. Um, but they'll, they'll buy an ad or they'll buy the, the placement or, you know, sign up for free and they'll enter their information. But I really feel like business owners aren't like they're not being creative about it like they could be. A lot of times I'll just see copy and paste this stuff. And hey, it's cool. They paid me. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Plus, you know, it's, it's another listing on my website. But really, if you're adding them and you're looking for quick tips in, in that fashion, to do some SEO. You know I mean, I've got a list of keywords that are good for my niche. And then I also want to bring value to them. Now, I don't want to waste, you know, 40, 50 minutes of my time trying to do a description. Uh, but throw it in Quillbot, throw it in one of your AI, you know, word sweepers or whatever, you know, just switch those words around. And then again, I said, I have a list of keywords. I'm going to use those. So for example, kiteboarding directory, um, I'm using the word kiteboarding lessons in everybody's descriptions that I add, <laughs> you know, whether they give lessons or not. It, it might say we do not give kiteboarding lessons, but, you know, um, I'm using my, and that's not one of my keywords, but you can get a feel for it. I, I, I utilize that to make not only my site better, but their listing get more traffic. Now I have seen a perfect example. We were talking about pre life size, and I know a couple of other people do it. Right below the ad listing, hey, for five bucks or whatever your time's worth, for five bucks or ten bucks, did you want you know did you want me to add your listing? Maybe you put the details and I'll spruce it up. And I've seen sites do this where yeah they might charge nineteen ninety nine. Somebody goes in and just decks it out. And again, it's a benefit for you and them. So those are my quick tips on adding a new listing. Uh, the second um, method is importing, right? <laughs> was that importing? Yeah, there's one more term, I think, uh, the autofill, the uh, fillerbot or whatever you call it. Yeah, but that's only for the address, right? Uh, it's for the name, contact, uh, phone number, I think website and um, address. Yeah, it's a couple of things. It's not just, uh, you can test it out on... Uh, Let's go to Top Google. Top Google has a running uh, on his website. So try it out. And I think. Um, I didn't know it did the website, man. I, I know that it does things. I, I also didn't think the name, but if you put in the name or the address, I guess I don't use it that often. Just name, just name, uh, just put in like Pizza Hut or something. I don't know. No, no, not the address. No, 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 no. The address, uh, the name. Pick it's a name. name. It's called Three no, Two One no. Kiteboarding and Water Sports. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so it didn't pick up the website. It didn't pick the website. Yeah. It oh, it did. It did. There you go. Yeah, I, I mean, whatever it's, it's whatever it can get from Google, it will do it. It's, it's as simple as that. If you have it in Google, it will do it. Interesting. Try them. And I'm like a listing pro guru, and I don't, I don't think I've used it lately. Um, it's awesome. Sweet. So yeah, I guess it gets the first half. I know there was a category fix. Remember? Yeah, see, um, store, meal delivery, meal takeaway. Also added a few categories that they had as well, because these are normally not in your in your demo version. And I don't know if if uh, he was also referring to the quick tip on the right hand side uh, if the question was about um, the quick tip quick tips on the right that that pull up like right there activate the quick tips i i like to keep them activated if that's what he's asking um i'm not again i'm i think we need a little bit more if if Maybe that wasn't what you're talking about. Quick tips here are just general tips that kind of help the user out when they start scrolling down, you know, what exactly is here. Um, category is just giving you some, some information. Of course, you can switch all that in, in the theme options, no problem. <clears throat> Do you have any other questions? Hello, Alyssa, welcome to the group. 
keep in mind, guys, you guys are on mute. So just feel free to unmute and ask away. We're here for you. Hello? Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, I'm pretty new to this. I mean, I'm looking to um, to add a, um, yeah, a directory. I, I mean, I have already sort of a directory, but it's, you know, it's just like, it was just a sample to build, but I'm looking for something professional. Um, so um, yeah, for two, I mean, I have two options. One is, um, I need a career, uh, well, a coaching directory. Um, and the one, it would be a company directory, but I don't know to which extent um, in terms, because then I need companies to, I would need both coach and, and companies to claim their own pages. Um, so it's two different things. One is a coaching directory. So uh, I'm not sure how that could get, could be populated then. Yeah, I've actually, uh, I've worked on several coaching directories and everybody has a different niche and, and a different market, hopefully. Um, I even did a speech therapy one and it was pretty interesting. It's actually doing pretty well now. Um, I think that's going to be a, a, a closed, uh, a more closed niche than just like a business company directory. But depending on if you're, you're focusing on different businesses, I will tell you that you know, I build multiple websites, but focusing on one might might help you out a little bit better. Like focus on one, get it launched and get it going. Unless they unless they somehow work hand in hand, because I can tell you that a directory and Shaquille, I know he spoke earlier. He can tell you it's it's you put in some work. You know, if you want to be successful, you, you got to put in the legwork as well. So um, we'd love to see him. Do you have anything else? the WordPress website is just uh, I don't have the, this type of directory it was just something I tried to build manually oh, okay. um, but I have uh, I mean my 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 community my business is is the is getting lots of attention for coaches from coaches so they they actually contact me directly but what I would like my idea was um I would like to have a platform uh, um, where they, uh, people can book their services. So it's not just um, a directory, it's actually, I mean, uh, there is a website that I'm looking at that is doing this. So it's more like, it's, it's in between a directory and booking system. And then I would like to get a percentage of the booking. Um, so I don't know if that's something that, that you've done before. Yeah, let me, let, me, let me give you, and I know that um, I think, what, five months ago, I wouldn't have told you about this, right? Because it doesn't, it doesn't there, there's a reason it wouldn't have fit. Um, we couldn't change the permalink from doctor. Um, I, I can, I mean, I, I went in and I just couldn't do this. Now, what this is, is this is Listing Pro's Medical Pro. Um, now we're able to change the permalink, right? We might need a special plugin to do that, but uh, we're able to change that. And I think that this, I know that this one's focused around doctors, but you could totally redo this and, and do it in a way that was exactly like you mentioned for coaches. Um, I'll just show you a couple of the, the, the key features because you can also book an appointment. Um, they can do a, a personal consultation or they can do a video consultation, right? They can schedule those times. And like you had mentioned, you, they, they can make a payment if, if that was something you wanted and you can take a percentage. And I've been working on, um, I think, I, you know, I've done a couple sites with Medical Pro now. And although mine were for, one's for a doctor, one's for a dentist, I can't see why you wouldn't use this design uh, in the same aspect. I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you hear me? Uh, sometimes. I think it takes like a second or two and then it kicks in. Or maybe it's my, maybe it's my headset. Let me see if I can find the demo. Uh, so yeah, Tim, actually, you're right. I mean, you know, uh, there will be some customization they will need to make or our team can help uh, users. We already have a client that we are working with, Co Coach F5. I actually shared the link in the comment section um, where they are actually creating something for coaches. Uh, it's it's not fully, I think it's it's, it's probably in, in their testing or uh, early um, what do you call it? <laughs> under construction. So I don't see any listings, but you can try to add a listing and whatnot. 
It's the kind of same, same, similar thing. It's more like, um, yeah, this is more like coaching, like in terms of uh, therapy coaching or career coaching. Whoops. I mean, um, but you know, your, your niche is your niche, right? I think this my pro looks um, yeah, more closer to maybe I'm looking for. And uh, um, can uh, people claim their own page and then manage them without me having to do all the work? Yeah, people can definitely claim the page. As you see here, you're seeing certified doctors listing pro just as the claim badge. Uh, of course, you'd have to change the logo translate to get that to say certified coaches. Um, but again, super easy. And it comes you know, in documentations for Listing Pro. They're going to teach you how to translate some of these words. Or, by the way, uh, we have these awesome Facebook groups um, that will definitely help you out you know, with any questions that you may have. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, let's, let's go back. So the main, uh, I think I was almost there. Don't forget to mention your YouTube channel as well, Tim, that uh, you, you have a lot of great videos. So just because we have a few new users who just joined, let people know about your YouTube channel. Sure, sure. So um, yeah, for those of you guys who don't know me, I know I did an intro early on, but we didn't have very many people. Um, my name is The Overnight Coder. Uh, I'm not affiliated with, with Listing Pro. I don't work for them. Um, but what happened was, is a few years back, I tried a bunch of themes and uh, Listing Pro was the best out of the box. So I started this channel um, I think one of these videos, you should see 30,000 views. This is the, one of the first videos. I said, it says a year ago, but I promise you it was, it was two years ago. Um, so what happened was, is I created this video and um, started a user base just on, you know, how to use Listing Pro and, and what comes in it. Now, I know we were just talking about Medical Pro, but Medical Pro has some additions. But like when I downloaded, uh, you know, page one and downloaded Medical Pro, it was still listing pro. So I kind of feel like all of these videos are still um, talking about the add-ons as well, but they're not about the add-ons. So this is my YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, again, we do, we do two Facebook groups. The main one is, is Sam's group here that has what, 32, 30, 3,100 members, 3,500 members, really good group there. And then, um, and yeah, they're definitely helpful. You know, when I joined these, um, I, I wasn't, I, when I first joined, I wasn't like the know-it-all. Like I didn't know enough about listing for now or after 70 designs later. Um, I, I pretty much know it in and out except for Philobot. <laughs> um, but with that being said, uh, I'm always learning from these groups, you know, whether it's, and uh, directories in general, there's just so much information that, I, that I've grabbed from the group on, you know, why can't we do this? Can we do that um, type things? And, uh, you know, from there, we've just grown to what we are today, or I've grown to what I am today. And of course, Listing Pro is the number one selling directory theme. Um, so yeah, good, good place to start. Um, some of the things, go ahead. Yeah, so, um, yeah, because I'm trying to understand what to prioritize. The other option I'm considering is that something different. Um, do you have something similar to, I would say, Glassdoor, where companies can claim their own profiles? Oh, well, you were saying that this, this you can claim your own profile. So what happens uh, is... Yeah, not, not, for, uh, not for coaching. Like, this is, uh, the one part is the coaching director, and then I have another part that is about companies, because companies then they would need to advertise their own uh, um, jobs as well. So I'm saying, do you have anything that would be suitable for companies like, um, as I say, similar to, to Glassdoor or something? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with Glassdoor, but I do know that this, this does have, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe, maybe I, I should just go look at Glassdoor because this does have a claim feature. You know, if this was a business uh -huh. listing, Okay. Um, you, they, they can always claim their business and go through the process of claiming that business. Usually oh. I, I, re I require some type of proof, whether it's, you know, the domain name matches the actual website or, um, you know, phone number. I've asked people for, you know, show me, um, you know, junk mail just to, just to prove it is their listing. And then from there, it takes them directly over to the pricing plan page where they can either sign up for free or pick a paid pricing. I, I, some of that you can turn off, right? You don't need paid plans, but uh, it's one of my favorite, <laughs> but yeah, this this definitely this definitely has a claim feature if you want to add the businesses manual. Does this uh, template have a name? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Listing Pro. Ah, uh, just list. Oh, no, the new listing. 
list, listing pro does it. I, I, I want to say, um, because I haven't tested the events beta, I don't, I wouldn't think that you could claim anything in there, but all their other add-ons do. So listing pro, the regular one, the uh, listing pro uh, for uh, black-based communities, um, the weddings, um, medical pro, again, it might just be in a different, excuse me, fashion. Uh -huh. Like this one uh, is going to be, you know, inside, but this one looks a little bit different, has a little different wording, but they all do the same thing. <coughs> I think these are. You were saying about, so when you, um, when you upload, or oh, I mean, I'm not an expert, so I'm just, <laughs> I don't know if I'm using the right words, but when you, let's say, uh, integrate uh, the, the directory, um, then you were talking about population. Is that something that, um, like it happened, you were talking about manually or automatically, what's the difference? Yeah, so manually, um, manually is where you go to the back end. Um, so I'll tell you from a client standpoint, like I normally have my clients add a few listings from their front end, right? And when we're saying front end, just to get a look and feel on how their actual website works. So they'll add a couple, whoops, um, let's go to one that's working. Um, so they'll add a few manually from the front end and then usually add a few on the back end, right? But normally, you know, once you get comfortable, the back end is just definitely an easier way just to add listings. That's, that's the manual way, right? I come to add new and I just start filling out the details, usually from Google or, or whoever, you know, my buddies or whoever want to add before my website launches or during the website launch, you know, or even during the duration, if you're adding them manually. Doing them automatically would be, um, using a plugin that Listing Pro comes with. So it recommends WP All Import, but then it also comes with, I don't, I don't think I have it on this one. It also comes with the add-on that has all the fields for it. And what that, what that entitles is, it's you coming up with a CSV list and then throwing it in here and, and having it auto-populate. Now there's many ways you can get a CSV list. I learned really quick that, well, I could scrape it myself and do like up to 200 listings a day for free. Uh, and grab a program online and watch a quick video. And that was great. And then there's also an easier way where I go to Fiverr and I pay them 10 bucks and I get a thousand listings back. So, I mean, you have multiple ways to get that CSV listing. Um, you know, and you can tell them categories, specific places, or whatever the case may be, or you just do the search yourself. I actually got a wedding guy. He was, uh, he's actually just opened the CSV and just starts hand putting in things. And I'm like, I mean, that's, that's not the way I would do it, but I mean, there are so many ways you can come up with that CSV list. If you had the, um, the listings manually or, uh, I don't know, it's been automatically, and then you assign the listing to the owners so that they, manage, they can manage it by themselves, like changing details <laughs> or, I don't know, pictures or whatever. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, I don't know if you heard our first method. I try to keep, like, I don't add everything to the business, right? So I'll just add like the name, the image, the category, and like maybe the location, right? Because the idea is I want the user to sign up and claim their listing. So again, we're talking about, you know, how can we do that? Um, and I would add their Facebook too, because then I just click on their Facebook link and be like, hey, look, by the way, uh, you have a listing here. Why don't you guys claim it? You, you can claim it for free. And that's one of my tactics, right? Yes, I do have a free plan, but I also have some paid plans sitting right next to it and you get more for the paid plan. You know, you open up some of those fields. Um, this is just a demo site. Actually, I'm gonna pull up top Google because um, apparently, no, you know what? We'll use Demo Listing Pro because that one's done. So sorry, I don't wanna show his site. So let's just use their demo just so you can kind of see. Um, you've got a couple plans. Um, when you go to the claim system, you already seen how, yes, you can hit that claim now button and it's gonna ask for some information. And then from there, they can, they can instantly go into one of these pricing plan options. So they'll normally be uh, on the screen in that claim system form if, if you enable it. And um, you, know, you can just, you go from here. So yes, they can claim it for $10.50 or um, I wanted to show you that just because Listing Pro also allows them, let me view all the features allows you to limit each plan by different things and duration. So let's just say the free plan. I'll give you a scenario in my case, right? I use 365 and I give it for free, but I only give like the first three or four things, right? You can't do a video. I do do the location. I don't give you all this. If you want to sign up for free, you can sign up for free, but you know, you don't, you don't, you don't get the lead form. You don't get all that. And then in my case, a lot of times I'll just do like monthly 
and do everything and annually and do everything. And annually is where they save a little bit of money. And uh, that seems to work. But I have seen people, if you were here earlier, Shaquille's got like six plans on his site, seven plans on his site. So um, <laughs> sorry, buddy. Um, so feel free to, you know, set it up the way you want. And uh, yeah, they go straight from claim to submitting the business or, or getting the plan that they want. And then from there, what happens is you approve the claim. Um, in most cases, you'll be on the back end. You'll get, you know, a notification uh, also sent to your email. And then if you approve that claim and you're saying, hey, yeah, we, we think that's really you. Um, when you click uh, on the claim, um, the claim confirmation, what happens is now they're the author of that listing. Um, which is cool because what, you know, now they can log in, they can get a dashboard, they get the lead forms instead of you. Now, I definitely recommend where you're at now watching this first, maybe even the second video. Um, the first video is, you know, how to create a directory or listing website with WordPress. This is going to answer like just a lot of the questions. I know it's an hour, but um, it'll answer like a lot of the questions that, that you may have and give you some, some insights. I think the second video is this one. Uh, listing pro the 2.5 tutorial um you know when you get started with it as well just because uh, they're really informative on features right i think i go through uh, most of the features maybe not all the features but um, most of the features there and it'll help you out <laughs> uh, any other questions go ahead i'm oh, sorry yeah. what benefits would you highlight for the um, users customers whatever you want to call them to, to pay for the subscription, apart the fact that they get all the features. Is it like you're talking in terms of traffic or you not mentioned that at all? Wait, so what, what type of features did I get? I'm sorry, what was the first part? No, like uh, what are the, set, apart the different features that they would get if they, for example, uh, choose a premium packet, the, pre, the, the features that are related to, uh, I don't know, image gallery, business, whatever, all these options. Do you also, on a, on, a, on a sales perspective, do you also need to say, well, this website will give you this type of visibility or traffic, or that's something that you don't, don't include? Oh, you can, definitely, you can definitely add. The cool thing about these features here is Listing Pro comes with a set of, I'm going to open up the pricing plan just from the back end so you can kind of see. Um, so first thing is you, you can create your plans and then you come in here and the first part of that is just turning things on or off, right? And once you know what everything is, you, you either want to turn it on or off. And you can also add your custom fields in here. And, you know, I, 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 it's hard to it's hard to tell a, a, a customer that, like in your case where you said, um, this, your list is gonna get thousands of viewers, um, unless you already have that traffic, like a, you can tell them whatever you wanna tell them. And I, I mean, I'm, I don't wanna be misleading, um, but may, you know, it'd be nice if, it'd be honest if your site was getting thousands of viewers, right? And it could, could they potentially get it? Now, the cool thing about directories, and we talked a little bit about um, this in one of my first webinars with Sam is, a directory already has more SEO than, than a personal business. You know, it's going to pull up higher in rankings already. And I think the better that they do with their SEO, I, I've got some listings on my website that are getting tons of tons of traffic. Um, so yeah, could I, could I say, hey, you could potentially get 10,000 viewers a month. The cool thing about this is, and especially with your coaching idea, it's a targeted niche. So your website uh, is, is, People are coming to your website and searching for coaches. And if you can display that and tell people, look, you know, um, sign up to our website. We've got targeted visitors already looking for your type of business. Um, you can definitely say that, you know, and I think uh, those keywords work. I wish I had an example. I, um, Shaquille was gracious enough to share his site. Let's see what we did for your, your search bar. Add a Bahamas-based business and get more customers right here before the uh, free listing button. Um, and of course, be, you probably weren't here for the, the plans that he has, but Shaquille definitely has some, some custom things that he's added in here as well. You know, he's going to display on social. We, we won't give away all his tips, but um, he definitely went custom on that. Anybody else have any questions? I know uh, 
We got Ramon, Roy. Make sure you guys unmute as well. Sorry. Uh, Tim, I just wanna add. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Just wanna add that uh, in pricing plan, you can add custom features that are uh, if you are aware offering some services that are beyond uh, the pricing plan feature that we give, like maybe like uh, some photography service that is external. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I think I grazed over it real quick, but uh, on the screen share now, this is exactly where you would just add those um, custom, custom ones. It goes right to the bottom of the list, which is cool. Anybody else? What do you guys got? Uh, Tim, can I ask a quick question? Sure. Um, just a technical one. I went in to load an image on Listing Pro today and I found that there's, um, in my media um, um, gallery, there's a couple of photos there that I have never put in. Um, and it's mm. advertising, you know, an external business. How can that happen? How does how can somebody get into the site and add images? Let me let me. So I mean, you you'll definitely want to troubleshoot that a little bit more. Mm. So um, I there I think there's a couple ways, right? If somebody were to add a business listing, and let's say even if they don't pay, right? Can I add the images now, right? So I haven't paid the demo anything. Uh, oh wait, I'm also logged in but I am able to submit some things here. Um, that's why they don't allow weird files in WordPress. So you could yeah. get hacked, but you know, what happens if this is a free plan? Somebody could have added those. How many users do you have? Uh, where does the image come from? Or what does it link back to? Um, this is something that, I mean, I definitely have to see on a one-off basis, but I yeah. know that there are definitely ways like people can, that's why we do pending listings, right? I don't, I don't ever recommend somebody um, take these and just say, um, but there's an option in theme options just to make these public as, uh, as uh, published as soon as they submit it, you know, because you'll get that one person that, that goes there and, and submit something that is non-related or something that's, you know, not suitable for work. We won't go into yeah. it. Right. And, uh, they'll just hit add listing, uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, I'd have to check, you know, if you want to show us or if you want to, uh, I mean, we can try to troubleshoot it, but I think that's that's one of the main main reasons, yeah. right? So we can submit it there. I'll check now, that I have out. access. I have access to your site, and I can tell you, I didn't add it. <laughs> so if it's uh -huh. bad, sure. I, didn't, I didn't add it. Uh, but yeah, another way, um, you know, you definitely want to make sure you're secure, right? I think that we went through about a year ago. Um, nobody updated, right? We all kept old versions of, of plugins and Listing Pro around, and, yes. and we had some hacks. Um, we had a lot of hacks, you know, and with that being said, you know, now we're posting in the groups that people should update. I, you know, with the internet, a lot of people aren't used to it. You didn't have to do it back, back when. HTML, CSS, not really hackable, right? I put it on my, my page and nobody can really get in. Um, with, with PHP and, and even themes and, and plugins, they're always updating because somebody will find an exploit. I'll give you an example. Here in the States, like this 11 or 16-year-old kid hacked the Pentagon. You know, if he can do that, somebody, somebody can definitely hack into your site. So the, the yeah. key is always, and I'm not saying this is what happened, but always, always try to stay one step above it. You know, does your server have backups? Um, you know, do you have security? I'm uh, for Listing Pro. I'm using WordFence. It's free. Um, I, I, I've got WordFence on the side. Yeah, um, and then you have backups with your with your hosting. You know, so if anything does happen, can you revert back? Um, yeah. And now I say I say update the plugins, but I'm also that guy that. Like if Elementor 4.0 came out today, I, I, I'm not updating. Like I, I got to wait for like 4.1 or 4.1.1 to make sure that they fix all of the, the big changes. You know, WordPress uh, 5.8 came out and ruined a bunch of sites, like not just Listing Pro, but, you know, just ruined a bunch of things. And I, it, it wasn't that Listing Pro wasn't updated or that because some people were ready for that. It was the things that weren't ready for that. We have, you know, some people have some plugins and some people. So it's always, I mean, just stay ahead of it if you can. Again, don't be day one. Um, another good idea is uh, I'll have to 
create a, a staging server because I control your hosting, but anybody who has their own hosting, um, create a staging server and testing day comes out, you know, I always recommend that you know, we just test, well, I handle your maintenance too, so I don't think you have to worry about that. But for everybody else, um, make, sure you're, make sure you're doing your updates on a staging server. Um, I'm in the Elementor group, right? I use Elementor with Listing Pro. And I get so many people that are in there and they're like, hey, my site just broke and I, and I updated it today and my client's really upset. I'm just like, I mean, so first off, that's your fault. Like, don't don't come here and say that it's broken. It's it's not that. It's, you know, you've got all these third party, you didn't test, you didn't have a staging server. Now you don't have a backup, you run into an issue. So don't, don't be that chick. <laughs> uh, but you know better, Rosemary. And again, I handle a lot of that for you. Okay, thank you. Um, just uh, Tim, they could even be like some of the dummy uh, demo images uh, that we are still sitting from from day zero, day one. I, I don't no, know, maybe. No, they're definitely not dummy images. These are ones that have just appeared. So, um, again, let, let's let's take a look at them when when this is done. I'd love to jump on. I think that's more specific. I normally. Uh, just to, just so you feel peace in mind, I normally don't see that issue. Um, normally they're all related to whatever niche we're doing, but um, these are the dummy images for anybody else. Um, and yeah, I was trying to see if it gives you any data. It does say you who it's uploaded by, so check that out. Maybe click on it and just see if you see the uploaded by. Yep. Okay. And, uh, maybe, maybe that'll at least point you in the right direction. Maybe I yep. did do it. Uh, I'd be in trouble, huh? I'm just kidding. Maybe it was testing. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so uh, I would take a look there first. Okay. Thanks. I'll do that. Um, anybody else? Uh, we've got a little bit more time. If anybody else has any questions. I got something for you, Eliza. It sounds like you might be on the fence. You should definitely jump in the group. Um, if you haven't already bought Listing Pro, which it doesn't seem like it, but maybe maybe you bought it. Um, it's really one of the best, uh, especially because I've heard a little bit about your coaching. Um, it's a really good directory for that. Um, again, I tested five or six directories when you know I first started. And it was the best fit for me, but you know, just if you're not a developer out of the box, and I hate to. I hate to brag about the channel. Um, really, this is not what it's about. But I actually, on the Overnight Coder channel, I actually have a video where I created a site with Listing Pro in an hour and 40 minutes. Now, everybody else in this group is going to tell you that, you know, we, we don't create our sites in an hour and 40 minutes. The, the reason I did that was just to show you that, yes, you can get through the theme options, and yes, you can make it functional in an hour and 40 minutes. Again, Shaquille is on year number one, uh, a full year. Uh, Rosemary's probably probably almost got about that as well, um, and we're still working on our sites, you know. So it's but can you get it up and running? Yeah. Uh, again, the the whole preface of the video is people are saying, oh, it takes me months to build this out. So I just try to build it as quick as possible. I even customized the homepage in that video. I'll, I'll pull the video just so you can get the title. I even customized the homepage, and. Um, and threw in the Loco Translate, which I was speaking about how to change words and stuff. Let me see if I can see what the site looks like. It should be uh, right about here. So you can kind of, hopefully you can kind of see this. Again, it was just, I threw in a, a dummy logo. Oh, stupid ads. Who does this? Never mind. Uh, but yeah, how to create a, a listing pro video in, in under two hours. Great video. Oh, we've got some things in the chat. Now that you are in the submit listing page, have you ever appreciated that there a tip, the first tip, quick tip, and you scroll down afterwards, again, it ever appears. Wait, now that I'm in the submit listing page, let's go back. I think you were right, um, Sam. When you scroll down afterward, again, it ever reappears. I don't understand the last part. Um, maybe I should read your second question. The first tip is only visible before scrolling this the first tip so quick tip is the first one but if i go back up yeah that makes sense i see exactly what you're saying so the first tip is just a quick tip right so what he what he's trying to say is 
watch this. I just refreshed the page. You see this first one is quick dip on the right. I never noticed that, man. You, you're sharp. Like I, I, again, I, something I've just never seen. I know the quick tips are here, but what happens is as you scroll down, you'll be on listing title and this thing is going to change and give you, you know, tips about adding the best title or, you know, what you should be putting in there. And then same for the next ones. What he's saying is when you scroll back up the word quick tip like that, never, never reappears. Like, I can go title, city, website, and the end. Give me, give me a sec. Can you guys still hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, perfect. So sorry. I had to take off my headset. I guess the battery's dead. Um, but yeah, so what he's saying is the quick tip never comes back. Um, buddy, I don't, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to put that back. <laughs> um, the fact that really once they see it once you shouldn't need it because it's it's now we're on listing title um but you are you're right i just I guess i never noticed that apologies now i have seen this uh i think that's all the questions there uh you guys have any questions in chat feel free to unmute yourself and uh let's do it rosemary don't let me down i know you got questions <laughs> Shaquille, I, I know you have questions. Shaquille's probably not there. He's just a good friend, so I'm sure maybe you walked away. We'll find out in a minute. Eliza, am I am I seeing next? Oh, you gotta run. Listen, man, thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, that was the chat. Eliza, Alyssa, Eliza. Um, any other questions? Pre-sale questions? Anything we can help you? Um, you know, make make a decision on anything it's missing. Well, no, I mean, I've been looking at this for a little bit in the last few months. And uh, yeah, I wanted to get more information. So I decided to connect today. I guess I'm going to have a call scheduled. Um, yeah. Okay. If, if you want, you can uh, share with, uh, I mean, if you're okay, we can see what you have right now. So maybe we will we'll get an idea where you, how you're transitioning from the current website. So you can share your website in the comments. We can pull that up as well. If, if you are comfortable, because this is going, this is getting recorded and this will be public information. Um, let me see. I really got to save this link. I got to do that every time I want this link. It's so bad. Problem solved. Um, I mean, what do you mean? need the link? No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you want to share your link in chat? Uh, we can kind of take a look at what, what you've got now and how you'd be migrating into, you know, a new system. I mean, if you want to, again, Sam, uh, this is definitely being recorded and it'll be posted more to the um, to, to quite a, quite a few people. But if you're comfortable doing it, we'd, we'd love to see what you got and what you're migrating from. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, one second. Sure. I have this link otherwise. I love this guy's footer. I mean, they just went crazy with his footer, Sam. Uh, let's yeah, go. Um, yeah, I mean, share with me any other websites you think that are really that have done really good job, and you know, I'll try to add add to this blog post if if you think. Um, I'm always looking for good, good stuff. I sent the link uh, uh, to Sam. I don't okay. know if I. 
Yeah, Sam, Sam, if you want to share the screen and, uh, or I, I can, I think she sent the link to you. Okay, I'm, I'm sharing, hold on, oh, hold on. I'm going to share with you. Uh, it's, it's, it's getting really uh, loud here and my kids are, so I, I, I'm going to keep myself mute for some time. <laughs> I'm going to share with you, uh, let me. <laughs> So for those of you guys that don't know, Sam has what two two kids, right? Two. Yeah, I got twins. Yeah, four year olds. That's right. That's right. He's got some catching up to do. I have four kids who I am not gonna lie, they are doing really well today. Normally, you can hear them three rooms <laughs> down with the door shut. So I'm really happy. I shouldn't have said anything. Really happy with them right now. Awesome. So this is your existing. Wait, let me go ahead and share screen. I guess that helps. So this is your then, yeah. Go ahead, Ben. I was just saying. Yeah, go ahead, Ben. I'm I'm gonna unmute. My... Yeah, so the, if you scroll down, uh, down. So down. <laughs> so yeah, this is like a sort of this is built with WordPress. So these are the profiles of some coaches. And the idea is to replace this with the directory. So it's, yeah, that bit is a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, um, it was looking really good, right? So you can still use the content, you can still use the text. Um, so it's not like a complete, oh, nice, a complete rebuild, right? But it, it's uh, the directory definitely going to give you a better approach. Um, again, it's still WordPress, but listing pro directory will be able to offer these not only in a format that you have here, but even some additional fields. So if you want to put, you know, you don't have to put full address. I know with coaches, you might, you might not want to do that, but can you put a location? Can you put a city? Can you put a region? Those type of places. That way somebody can just, they can see where coaches are, um, you know, visually. And again, you don't even have to use that if you didn't want to. The really cool thing is you can actually create these as either categories or additional form fields. And there's many ways that you can do searches by those as well with Listing Pro. So that, that's another cool feature. Um, same thing with your languages. You can mark these in categories or tags and um, features as well. And um, you know, be able to sort them or custom form fields, be able to sort these by um, what they're actually offering. So right now you're just displaying that information, which I think is great. You know, it was a good start. You started building that database. This thing Pro will allow you the flexibility. Let's take a look. Let me, let me I think we're, we already have the archive page or something like that. Are you, you're doing a small niche or, or is it a big like worldwide or is it just like a, a location or? Uh, no, it's worldwide. It's worldwide? Mm. Okay. Um, so in that case, you know, my recommendation has always been big map. Um, here's where you could, and again, you have multiple layouts and I'll show you real quick, but you have multiple filters that you can put here. You've got your listings in the middle and there's multiple different layouts, um, here. And then I'm, I'm a big fan. You don't have to do it like this, but if you were worldwide, I, I, I might do big map, you know, um, there are some niches that just scream big map to me, like, uh, country airstrips. Um, but yeah, so let me show you a couple of the different options just before you even, um, where are we at? Theme options, listing, archive. So I, you probably can't see this and it's not gonna blow up um, very nicely. Yeah, it always goes backwards. Um, but with that being said, th there are four original layouts, right? Or different layouts. And then inside those layouts, you also have like how the, how the listings look, how to, so again, even if you can't see it, you can see that now there are more options down here. If we were to select one of these or maybe one of these, I'll go to listing style, just so you can see the difference. Uh, whoops. Just gives so much, uh, uh, so many options and flexibility for that search page to kind of style it up the way you want. So you remember what the first look was. This is the second one here with listings here, map here. And of course you've got a sidebar area here. So you can kind of pick um, the style that you want, right? Let's 
This is a good start. I like what you did with the header, but I don't, I don't like the fact that I have to, oh, there it goes. So then it closes. Nice. Uh, I like that. Was this a theme or just WordPress in general? Uh, yeah, it's a theme. Uh, uh... Okay. Yeah, the cool thing, like I, like I said, you can just take all this content and throw it right over there, whether it's whether it's manually or if you have a lot of these, if you can export them um, with something like WP All Export, you can even import these. But if it's only these ones, it's, it, it might just be might just be easy to self add five. Uh, I think it's called Woo Shopping, something like that. Woo Shopping. Um, oh, so were these product? No, this is got a five star rating. Really. At the moment, the coaches are product because there was no other way to do it. So they were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to see that now, right? It's got the product layout, it's got the description that you would normally see on product pages. I just don't see the button. So you guys hit the button and you're fooling me. I like it. See, you know, just to do a test, nothing. Uh, I don't, I don't, yeah, not excited about it. But, um, yeah, but like, um, yeah, so for coaches to be able to claim their profile and for people to be able to book directly. I mean, there is a website, uh, maybe you know, are you in US? I am. Uh, so the muse.com. Wait, what is it? The muse. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh. Should we, we, the news? We, we, uh, we it in chat. Yeah. So that's that's uh, what I my sort of inspiration. Um, they have their own section for. Oh, the muse. Yeah, the muse. You got a great accent. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's, it's perfect. I just, um, yeah, uh, the Muse. So the Muse, yeah, it's just like that, right? It's kind of directory based. I have the coaching part of the top. Coaching at the top. And then, uh, I don't know. Any one of them, right? Browse all. Yeah, something to click the way you can see the filter coaches. Whoa, I don't like that. Um, let's try a different one. Um, filter coaches at the top. Filter coaches? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so that was a little hard to find. I don't I don't know if I like that. Maybe, yeah, maybe no. it was just me. It's not straightforward. There are very, there are too many information you go left and right. If you click on one of the profile, then um, I mean, they're very, I mean, yeah, they got lots of investors, so, <laughs> but um, they should have an option where, oh, yeah, book, where you can book, you can book directly, book Dr. Benjamin, and then you have the option. Okay. So I guess the coach gives their own availability, and then, uh, and I know that uh, the coaches are in wait, that. I mean, they are on waiting list to be added to this website. Nice. So this is what you need, but better, right? But they are massive. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Listing Pro, um, it, I, I, I think you can do something like this. I mean, the directory portion, no problem, right? I think that there are going to definitely be some customizations if um, you, and I don't think any, any theme is going to be like the muse out of the box. Um, but listing pro is, is really close. And I think it's more streamlined on some of those things, but some of that, you know, they're, they're, I mean, you, like the book now I would use medical pro, right. I could style it up. I mean, better than the muse in my opinion and, um, and, and do things like that. But if you want anything additional, you know, you might, you might even, it, I don't know if you're a developer, but you know you might might even need a developer for something like that. Listing Pro has this whole customization team as well. Um, it's right on their website. <laughs> I'm sure Sam will give us a link as well. Um, but they they can help you out with any future customizations that you may need. Um, if if you need to go outside the box, a lot of what we said was I mean that's that's just what Listing Pro does. So I would start somewhere and start building that database. Too. 
while just to start to put the backbone there, then uh, when I'm going to have the billions, I can do that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's just, um, I think it would do to start with. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. Um, I, I don't see any reasons why. And I think that, uh, you know, I can't say everybody's got a good niche, um, but coaching, you know, worldwide might be a little bit harder, but coaching in general, I think with um, the times that we are in today, um, it, it could be a big leap, right? Because I know some people are have been sitting at the house and, and you know, they, they probably need some coaching. Um, you know, in my eyes, I would even open up video consultation or video coaching. That way, you know, people can hop on iPads or do whatever they want to do and meet virtually as well. You know, it might, it, it, I think there's so many ways you can utilize um, different tools and, and things that we're, we're actually going through now with COVID and things like that, that people are realizing that, that you can kind of, I don't want to say capitalize off the pandemic, but you could, you could, you could use some of those things to your benefit as well, right? Like video coaching. I don't even know if that's something you want to offer, but you know, it's just, those are some, some ideas that could help out. Yeah, I mean, it's very common now. It's not uh, something that, you know, they, it was uh, with the pandemic, it became very normal. So some people, they don't do um, face to face anymore as well. They just do video coaching. Oh, yeah. So people prefer to save time and stay at home instead of travel two hours to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I think there's a uh, definitely a lot. Like I said, I was doing a speech therapy one and she blew up. She's doing great. It's for a speech therapy directory where you can find a speech therapist that, you know, specializes in what you need. Um, she's doing really well right now. Uh, any other questions while we're here, guys? Uh, I think what we got to work. Uh, I'll, I'll stick around for a bit. Uh, we have uh, Daniel who joined, I guess, late. If if uh, if he has any questions, feel free to ask Daniel. Daniel, you're also on mute. Make sure you unmute yourself, buddy. Hey, Tim, uh, that speech uh, therapy site you were talking about, send it to me later on if, if you can share it here because I want to see what, um, yeah what they're up to. Because it's, oh, it's really speechtherapy.com, like, <laughs> so good. No, I'm trying to see if it was saved in my, in my browser. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm clearing my catch all the time, and I was trying to see if yeah. it's definitely not, yeah. Um, I was going to tell you something funny. I uh, It happened to me a few times. I was searching so, for some website for like some topic. I don't know. And I go to the website and guess what? It's Listing Pro. I mean, I wasn't list, looking for Listing Pro or a, a website or anything. It was just a random website. I was looking for some 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 weird topic. I don't know. It was a Listing Pro. It was like crazy. Like, you know, it happened to me a few times. It was just crazy. Well, that's got to be better than, than doing a webinar and pulling up Pornhub on accident. I won't get into that. <laughs> so I got to watch what I type because if I put letters in a specific order, something bad might... I'm just kidding, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I, I'll have to send it to you later. It, I think we, sc we scared Daniel, so he left, I guess. <laughs> no worries. Uh, anybody else? Um, I know, you know, uh, we appreciate you guys coming. I know that um, we're, we're just, you know, we're, we're entertaining this. I think that the more that we do, I think more people start showing up. Um, I had, again, I had 16 people in my events that said, hey, we're going. So I don't, I don't know if it was Super Bowl games or I'm sorry, football games or anything like that. But sports season's back in. People got stuff to do. But we appreciate you coming. Rosemary, your site is coming along wonderfully uh keep up the good work there thank um, you eliza I, I can tell you listing pro is definitely what you're looking for nothing better than just to jump right in and start building out that database um you know if you have the time if you have any questions 
Uh, my name is The Overnight Coder. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on YouTube. Um, or, you know what? My email is, I'll put it in the link, but it's x at Overnight Coder. And then Sam, Sam is available too. But I think you want to go through like either his Facebook or the Listing Pro group or, um, or, or the contact us right, right there on the Listing Pro website. I just don't want to give away his email. Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> uh, that's okay. I, I mean, that I mean, you, you, yeah, that's good. I mean, you know, you are very generous, Tim. You, you give your email away like that. <laughs> well, I, I, the reason, I, so it's it's on my channel, right? And and you know, oh yeah, it's a positive. And sometimes, and I, you know, I forget. I, I'm thinking I'm sending it just to her, and and meanwhile, this webinar people will be messaging. Uh, but I do get some like randoms, like people just message me and, uh, you know, it's not about work. It's not about, it's, um, I just get these ones out of the blue and I'm like, oh, this is definitely from my video. I had a dude, um, and I guess, I guess some people just want to know where you're at, but no, hi, hello. Yesterday he just messaged me and says, where are you from? And I'm like, all right, this, this, this is definitely, you can just tell. Right. And so we start talking after, cause he doesn't answer for like 30 minutes. And then he comes back and he's like, hey, you know, I just had this question about Listing Pro. Can it do this? I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do that. And we like go through like the steps of how you can do that. And that was just the end of it. So sometimes, um, you know, I find it redundant. But it, if my email's ever over flooded, uh, I just, you know, I can only do what I can do. So I don't know. I, maybe I shouldn't be posting my email. I don't know. I give it to everybody. I'm like, yeah, just, you know, send me a message. Let's talk. Uh, Great. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, way, actually, let me let me share something with you that's better than my email, um, and it's not it's not direct to me either. I'm going to show you this uh, this Facebook. Hopefully, you use Facebook. Even if you don't use Facebook on like a personal level, like uh, let's just be honest, I don't like showing my face, but I'm going to show you guys. I don't post, right? I was asking about a repair guy, and before that, it was like in July, right? Before that, uh, maybe once. Actually, that's not even my post. It's uh, tagging. But I don't ever post. Well, oh, well, when I have babies. Wow, that's right? very cute. <laughs> but even if you don't post on Facebook, I'll tell you a good place to hang out is the Listing Pro, the official users group. So I'm going to show you here. It's got, not, and this is why it's better than me. I'm just one person, you know, and, and yes, I have extensive knowledge. Here, you can talk to 3,500 members that all are dealing with Listing Pro, you know, um, example sites. Um, you've just got the works in here. So I, I feel like this is better than just me directly. Um, a, funny, a funny story, I don't mind helping anybody, as you guys know, but I get these all the time, like just random people asking me the same questions that's already in the group. And I'm like, I mean, you're in the group. You didn't search, you didn't, uh, it's just, I, you should just see the oddball stuff I get. Like, uh, where can I buy the theme? I'm like, oh, so you found the group, but this <laughs> you can't find it. Yeah, any. yeah maybe, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe you should put that in the description if I haven't already. Yet. <laughs> oh, that's that's one time out of everybody I've ever talked to. So I, I probably wouldn't waste the, the, uh, to do it. Everybody mm -hmm. else knows where to find Listen, everybody in this chat room are, already found it, except for Lise, but she's going to buy it today. Alisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna talk to her. Um, maybe schedule a call with her later this week, the next week. Yeah. Um, all right, I guess we are not getting any more questions. So I know it's a Saturday, Tim. I think how's the weather outside? Oh, I'm going back to sleep, dude. I don't know if you could tell, but uh, the weather's great. So it's Florida. Uh, the weather's always good in Florida, but. Um, I, I, again, I think I told you, I stayed up way too late last night. So it looks like it's 70 degrees, um, partly cloudy. Don't worry. I'm not in Port St. John, but it's close enough guys. Um, but yeah, wow, that's nice. Nice. You ride motorcycle, right? Uh, I do, man. We're just oh, what do you ride? I think it's a sports bike. Uh, I think I've seen the video. Yeah, it's definitely a sports bike. Um, I am a sports bike fanatic. Uh, my wife also has a sports bike. Oh, hey. What was that a pick of? That's horrible. Yeah, I ride an Indian um, Bob, a Scott, uh, uh, Scott Bobber. That's all right. That's awesome. Sweet. You know what? Uh, Rosemary flies planes. 
Didn't know. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, uh, Rosemary, are, oh, you are a pilot yourself. I didn't know that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh... But her husband's the pilot, can, but, but she can, gets to she gets to ride for free. <laughs> wow! Can, can you teach us? <laughs> you want to learn? Do you want to learn, man? I'm 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 down for it, Rosemary. Let 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 us know. But uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but yeah, someday I would love to fly plane. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's good fun. <laughs> How long have you been doing it? Um. We've been flying for um, probably 10 years now. Wow, okay. Mm. All right. Okay, they, they, they got a nice plane too, and I got I got the chance to see it the other day. Um, really, really nice plane. I was expecting, and, and sorry, I, I just, anybody, some, somebody tells me they got a plane, especially anybody I know tells me they got a plane, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I, I know what this is, right? And uh, she shows me, it's really nice. It's really nice. And, you know, I got a friend, Glenn, and uh, he doesn't have that type of plane. Glenn's is like held together with duct tape. And, uh, you know, like, dude, we talk about that too. They let you fly. Um, but hers is nice. It's really nice. It is. It's, it's a great little plane. We've flown around Australia a couple of times in it so far. So, um, yeah, great little plane. Nice, nice. Yeah, I didn't. I just realized you're in Australia, so I, I have to. I have a sister in Australia next time, and if I do visit, well, I haven't visited Australia yet, but if I do visit. Oh, then, haven't maybe. you? Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, I know, I know. So yeah, where are you so from? Someday. I'm here in Texas. Uh, well, I've been oh, okay. all over U.S. I was in New York, California, now in Texas. Yes, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I haven't okay. been to Florida. Uh, him someday yeah sure for sure <laughs> you're missing out dude Florida's... i know i know well, well yeah i mean well Sha shaquille from from earlier he i mean he told you he's in the bahamas and that's that's probably you know entry for me i don't want to do bahamas because the import export but something like saint kit well it's still got import export but it's not the price of living um so i'd like to live island life but if you can't live island life and you're in the united states Florida is really freaking close, you know, so um, I like it. I love the beach life. I think that wraps it up. Let me check the chat one more time. Um, thank you. Have to go now. We just have an uh, iPhone. I don't know if it's one of us or a new person joined or, or gone. <laughs> as soon as I said iPhone, Mr. iPhone or Mrs. iPhone joined and they left. Okay, I guess we can wrap up, Tim. I know you've been up all night, so go back to sleep. <laughs> I, I, mean, I need to say that. It's midday now, right? If I tell somebody I'm going to sleep, they're going to be like, dude, it's 1 o'clock. But, you know, when you got when you have the overseas clients, this is like a norm for me. Yeah, I don't mind getting up for a bit, but I take naps midday, and that's my secret. Um, it's hard with four kids, but uh, that, that way I can deal with people like Rosemary uh, late, late evenings, which might be her mornings. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, awesome clients. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, Ramon, Jules, thanks for coming. Rosemary, thanks for coming as always. Looks like we'll see you next week. Keep up that progress. And I, I'd like to know that, that image issue um, that you're having. Like, I, yes, I, I'll, I'll look into it a bit more and let you know. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Definitely, yeah. definitely reach out. Yep, great. All right, well, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. That thanks, was really thanks. worthwhile. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Yep. Thank sure. you. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Tim. Bye. Tim, talk to you later, buddy. Bye, brother. You're not hanging out? Uh, I mean, I can.